Hi everybody, it's Martha. Um, today we are going to play with glue and paper and some other things. I have been wanting to try this and I really should have um, done this prior to this, but we're going to play together. So this is that project with the glue and added in things to make it look like handmade paper that Treasure Books, I believe her name is Natasha, I hope, um, <laughs> that I haven't messed that up, is um, has done. And I'm going to try it as just something fun to do because I'm avoiding finishing journals that I'm supposed to have done. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, I may have just knocked into the um, camera. I forgot to get out a larger paint brush and we are going to play so we'll see how this comes out whether it comes out or not I don't know these are the paintbrush this is the paintbrush set I got from Ikea that's the name of it and I decided I'm going to use one of these today you really need just probably an inexpensive paintbrush for this if I could get into it. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. So first I want to say hi to everybody and a special hi to my... Oh, it's slippery. I can't get it out. To my new subscribers. Hello, everybody. I'm glad you're here. And thank you for joining me. Um... I'm happy that you guys think that I'm worth watching. <laughs> Trust me, I'm happy about that. So today, um, I'm not wearing gloves. We're going to mix some glue up. And this is supposed to be, I think, two parts glue, one part water. And I forgot to, let's see, a little bit of water in there. So we're going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work or not, because like I said, I did not do this prior. Ooh, should have taken the cap off and not squirted it. <laughs> Slow going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Oop. A little faster. So I hope everybody is doing well, and that you are all ready for whatever holiday you celebrate around this time of year, if you celebrate. If you don't, then I just hope that you're ready for all the hubbub going on in the world. Um, yeah, we went up to the city today uh, and just just our local city. I, I have no idea about measurements. My measurements is they're, they're about as reliable as my math is. <laughs> Not very. Anyway, um, went to the city and traffic. Oh my gosh. We live right in the way of going. Uh, we live, the city we go to, that we live near, takes us usually about a half an hour to get to. Half an hour-ish. And um, it's right on the I-95 corridor running from Washington to Richmond and we're right smack in the middle. We're about 70 miles from either one and it's it's uh it was a mess on the road going. We didn't have to get on 95, thank goodness. But the road getting there and to the shopping centers and everything, what a mess. Oh my goodness, it was a mess. All right, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough water, but that's okay. We're, we're just playing. Just playing. So I believe what we do is we coat this really well with the watery glue. And I'm starting out with a regular copy paper weight paper, which may be too light, but that's what I wanted to play with was to see what I come up with. Oops. Um, I do know that she said, Natasha from Treasure Books, said it might be better to do it on a heavier um, cardstock weight, but I don't listen. <laughs> I 
So I have some tea that's left over from tea bags. And I just took the tea out of the tea bags after they were fully 100% dry. And I'm just going to put that on. That's pretty. Here are the tea bags that they came from. I have some things from some plants outside. I have some lavender plants that were all dried up. I, I in fact, need to go back and cut, uh, cut the rest of them back. But I was, it was very cold the day I went out and cut these down, or cut these off of the branches. So I didn't bother doing the rest of the trimming that day. All right. And then I have various other plants that I have no idea what the name of are. I have no idea what their names are, I guess I should say. But I thought they were interesting. These look like, these come off of a very tall grass. Let's see if I can get the light on it. Oops. Let's see if I can get some light on it. <laughs> there we go. Very tall grass. Can you see that? Um, and when you, they, they kind of look feathery up at the top. And um, these are a little pokey, so I don't, I don't know how this is going to work. But they're very interesting, and I wanted to play with them. So we're going to do that. We're going to see how that goes. I think my glue is drying already. It's not necessarily a great thing, but we'll see. And I hope I'm doing this right because I did not review the <laughs> did not review her recording before I started this. Okay, that's enough of that. And I think this stuff is going to go a long way for each piece, really. Um, this is from another plant and some grasses. So, oops, that was way too much all in one spot. And I did chop a lot of this stuff up into little tiny bits. So, and my dogs are not real happy with me right now. You may hear my husband open the sliding door to the, um, oops. Yeah, see, none of this stuff is really sticking. Yeah, he may open the door to the, the sliding door to the, to this room. But that's okay. He can do that. And we were supposed to do this project together, but he has not been feeling well. He's had, I don't know if it started out as the flu. He was a little, little feverish. He had a sore throat. Oh, I like the tea bag paper on here. Just little tiny bits of it. He had, he had a sore throat. And his started with sneezing and coughing and a sinus headache and an earache and I think in a couple of days a day or two after that he was a little feverish and then it sort of moved around his body I'm trying not to overload this because then it's gonna look weird and then I have a few of these little red leaves off of a bush that I had. I think I'm going to tear these. Even though I thought they'd look really pretty whole, I just think they're too big. So I'm going to tear them. Oops. Oh, the red side up. The back side of them are green or greenish. But I really want the red side up. At least on this sheet. Oh yeah, that's not, that's not even wet anymore. Doy. So I, he started getting sick about two weeks ago, I think it was. I think it's been about two weeks. And, um, and I have been doing everything in my power not to come down sick. But at this point, I think it's out of my control. <laughs> And I have been struggling. Here's a little tiny one I think I'll put right here. Little tiny red one. Oh, here's an even teenier red one. Oh, I like that. I think I'll put it right, right here. Okay. Now the secret to this is, and I'm going to reach in front of the camera. I hope that's okay. You have a napkin, 
and it's best if the napkin covers the whole thing but if it doesn't I think that's okay you can um, you can compensate by putting another piece of napkin on so you very carefully lay the napkin over and I don't know if this design is showing up but this is the napkins come in three um, layers right and I'm sorry I hope I'm not annoying you with the camera and I don't have another one with this backing on it I don't think hold on still looking bad preparation so here's one yes I was hoping I'd have a matching one all right so we're gonna just actually maybe I could use I think I'm just going to use the edge of this one. It's got texture on it, and I think the edge will just be just enough. So the napkins have three layers. Usually the layer directly attached, the center layer, which is the layer that's attached to the part of the napkin that has the actual print on it. A lot of times it'll have a ghost print. And if you can see it here, it looks like yellow roses yeah I'm just gonna do that okay now the secret here is not to shift anything and some of this glue definitely some of this page is definitely wetter with glue in spots than it is in other spots and I'm gonna try and lift this up carefully or not I don't want I don't want bubbles in it. Not big ridges of bubbles. And I remember that she showed a way to get rid of the bubbles. Whether I remember that or not, we'll see. Okay. That's better. I'm just going to carefully, softly press this down. All right. So that area up there is very wet. The rest of it is not don't know why, but that's the way it is. Okay, so the layer next to the printed part has the ghost print on it. Some are a lot, um, a lot easier to see the ghost print than others. And so if you can get them to really show, I think it makes it more interesting. But I don't know because I haven't done this before. Oh no. So I'm very carefully, I don't want to rip the napkin, so I'm just going to dab at this point. And that's how you get the bubbles out too, is you dab instead of brushing. And you want it to stick. I think dabbing is going to be my only recourse to do that. Uh-oh. Now if it rips, if it tears, don't worry too, too much. You can replace the napkin pieces. And we'll see how this goes. If this takes too long, I'm going to speed it up so I won't say anything too important during this part. Although I could talk about my husband and being sick. Anyway, but you wouldn't miss out if, <laughs> if we speed up through that part. Or if you want to speed up through that part, go for it. Just hit the the little dots up in the corner and it'll say playback speed and you can speed it up however fast you want it so my husband so this him getting sick started I think about two weeks ago didn't mark it on the calendar but I think it's been about two weeks if it hasn't been two weeks already it's coming up on two weeks so I've been like washing my hands like a fiend which I believe in anyway I have been um, taking double vitamin C vitamin D um, along with the other things that I already take and I have been uh, like I said washing my hands I don't use Lysol. I can't stand the smell of it, but sometimes I wish I could so that I could use it. 
And I'm going right to the edge of this napkin with this. And so anyway, about, oh gosh, I don't know. This is Monday. I would say it was Friday, maybe? Friday or Saturday. I got up and I started, I didn't feel 100%. <laughs> I did not feel 100%. So, um, I started taking the zinc, which is supposed to ward off colds and stuff, if you take it right at the beginning. Um, we had airborne gummies here with elderberry, which is supposed to be, now I'm not a medical professional, <laughs> don't quote me on anything, but this is what I've read and heard, um, and I already take a, a homeopathic cell salt combination. Well, yeah, it's a combination every day of what I take. And uh, so I doubled and tripled that. I, instead of just taking it in the morning, I started taking it at night. And sometimes I take it during the day when I remember. This is not, not coming out how I thought it was going to. This is not sticking at all. To this page. <laughs> I don't know why. Stick, please, stick. Oh. Okay. I'm glad I used the wider brush. If I'd used a thinner brush, man, we'd be here all day and all night. This is obviously going to have to be at least a two parter because. There's no way this stuff is going to dry anytime soon. It is wet. Yeah, so I started feeling kind of not my best over the weekend. So, let's see. Today's Monday. Saturday, um, I felt kind of crummy. Yesterday I got up and I felt pretty good actually. I didn't I thought maybe well, you know, that's it. It's it's over. Until last night when I started the heavy duty sneezing and my nose running and all that stuff again. So, yeah. Um, not over. <laughs> And then all night I sort of had trouble breathing. One side of my nose stuffed up. That could be because I opened the vent for the heat in my bedroom. And I know better than to sleep with heat running in my room. So I'm going to have to close that vent tonight. So I don't know if you can see the ghosting from the napkin. This green here and the yellow in here, that's the ghosting from that napkin. Now, none of my other napkins have that good of ghosting going on on them. So probably anything from here on out is not going to be as interesting as far as the napkin over the top. And I am just trying to get the bubbles out at this point. Because um, there's a lot of them. But just like pouncing the brush up and down is really helping a lot. If there's wrinkles, I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a texture thing. And I don't know if any of this stuff is too sharp. Um, but we're just going to roll with it. I'm going to make sure there's plenty of glue on the edges. And I'm doing this on a the waxy side of the parchment paper. Just so you know. I can't remember what Natasha did it on. If it was parchment paper, wax paper, I don't remember. And it's okay if you overlap. In fact, she did it all the way overlapping. Because what's going to happen is, even if it sticks, you're going to be able to cut this off of the parchment paper. And once you do, the back of it will just peel away. Okay, so um, I'm going, ooh, just got glue all over my finger. I'm going to move this and we're going to do another one.
We're going to add some more stuff like threads and stuff. And we'll just do, let's see, that took me 20 minutes. Let me move this. Okay, that's really pretty. When you look at it from further away, it really came out pretty. So I have some more. These sheets are not as big. Or I might have to, might have to dig into my washi tape. Hope, hope it holds it down. I don't want it curling up on it. Oh, it's hot in my room again. But then I'm running hot and cold anyway because I don't feel so great. Okay. So we're going to try. I want to try it on a... This is a drawing artist pad. And this paper is kind of a almost a light gray and it's got a kind of a cool texture to it. I don't know. Let's see if it tells me the weight. 62 pound. Feels very light for 62 pound. That's what it says. <laughs> so, so we're going with it. And I do have a variety of papers here. I just don't know if we're going to be able to get to it all or if I've mixed enough glue. So we, we shall see. So I'm going to start in the middle and work my way out to the edges. And this paper isn't quite wide enough, so I have a feeling I'm going to share some of this glue with my mat. I'll just have to just have to deal with it or clean it up, hopefully. Alright. And I suppose you wouldn't have to do the whole page all at once, you know, um, with glue. I suppose you could do like a third of it, a third of it, and a third of it if you wanted to. Make sure I get, get enough all over it though. Whoops. And so, oh, you know why this is, <laughs> you know why it doesn't fit on here? Because the page is bigger than a regular, well, duh. The page is a little bigger than, um, than a regular, it's not eight and a half by 11. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that. Now, I didn't have, I don't use a lot of spices, but I did mean to go look at my spice rack and see what else I could dig up. But I think there's plenty here with my little plants and the tea and, now, I don't know. I think this is going to be too prickly. We'll try a couple. I don't know if that'll... If that'll poke through the napkin or not. And I didn't even I didn't even try the other napkin to see if anything was poking through. <laughs> I'm just such a rebel. Just going for it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna use of that. And then we'll go back to some of this other stuff that I was using. These little seed pods off of this tall plant. Can't even remember what the plant was. I think it's some sort of bee balm or I, I can't remember. It's something for the bees and butterflies, I do believe. And they're like little seed pods and little stems from it. And you don't want them bunched up because then they definitely will be too pokey. So yeah, so I, I don't know. Um, we may not get to see our daughter, son-in-law, and grandkids, granddaughters, which will really make me sad. <laughs> We may not be able to go up and see them on Christmas because I just don't want to spread this to them. Because you know how it is when you have kids. They bring home enough stuff that you don't you don't need them bringing anything, you know, having any catching anything from their grandma, grandma and grandpa. Or as my grandkids call my husband, Papa. So I like the lavender on there because it's flat, it's soft. And it's pretty leaves. Okay, spread it out though. All right. And I think we'll put some more of the leaves on there. I might try and find the smaller ones so that they can. Boy, this glue, it must be because it's so warm in this room that this glue is drying so fast. I mean, so fast. 
it's not even wet anymore. <laughs> it's just sad. It's, the, the leaves aren't sticking. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of funny. Too warm. Need to go open the door. It's actually 50 something out, which is why it's too warm in here. So I have some of this copper thread, which I think is really pretty, pretty, pretty. So we're going to just I'm going to let it fall where it will. And Kind of go in whatever position it's going to go in. Oh, that's pretty. If y'all don't know, I, I do like a little sparkle here and there. I think if... Oops. <laughs> it helps if you get it on the page, though. I think if I had, like, a teeny bit of some sort of little... Just opalescent glitter somewhere. I probably do, but I didn't go looking for it. Because, you know, I can get carried away. This is some embroidery thread. I have an embroidery machine, and I don't use it. I hate... Oh, my gosh. Come on, Martha. I. It's very technical. And it's very um, time-consuming. And it's definitely not an... In instant satisfaction kind of thing like this is <laughs> so I don't use it I've done a couple of things and I just don't don't love doing it so I don't I just don't do it so there's that this is a nice big napkin and it does have a nice design on it so I'm just gonna lay that down like that and I know I'm not really heavily doing these papers, but I think that's okay. I don't want it to be too, too heavily done. Now, I did not put any tea paper on here, but there's leaves and grass and threads. I'm trying to see if you can actually see the threads through there. I don't think you can. Okay. So I will... I know I say this all the time, and I, I'm very bad at doing it. I will link. My hand, my palm is sticking. I will link uh, the video where this process takes place because she's much better, much better at teaching it than I am. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. That's my neighbor rolling his garbage can down from the front to the back. Our neighbors next door have multiple people living in their home. There's the husband and wife who own it. And then they have her stepson, I guess. I think it's her. I think it's her stepson living there. And then Boy. I hope this I hope this doesn't stick to my mat when I pick it up. And then there's um, his wife. And I don't, I don't know if either of them work. I don't see them going in and out like at regular work times. He seems to always be home. I don't know. And uh, then I think her mother is there sometimes because it's an older lady and it's not the one, it's not the wife of the husband that bought the place and they stand outside on their patio and smoke like fiends we're not smokers and the houses here are not all that far apart so there's that bubbles bubbles everywhere get the other part of the paper done Martha and then go back and worry about the bubbles yes I love the way this looks under the napkin if the napkin's laying on it the right way. Big if. So it got to almost 60 degrees here today. It's late afternoon, so I'm sure it's cooling off now. But, um, yeah, two days before Christmas, my Facebook memories pops up all the time because I'm, I'm infamous for taking pictures of 
the heat and the cold. Uh, mostly the heat. Because I really hate the heat. <laughs> I absolutely, I'd rather freeze than be hot. Because when I'm freezing, I can turn on the heat, I can um, put on more clothes, I can sit with a heating pad on me, and I'm good. Cover up with blankets, whatever it takes. But when you're hot, we have air conditioning, but that doesn't mean anything to me sometimes. When you're hot, if you want to be out doing anything and it's hot, you just can't go out naked. Because you may get put in jail. <laughs> So naked is not an option for me anyway. It's just not an appealing look on me. A model, I am not. So, okay, here's, here's the boring part again. So let's see, what have I done interesting lately? I did go to a thrift shop. I found a ginormous book for plants. So... It has some really awesome small photos in it. And those photos can be used for so many things. But Rachel at Roxy Creations, of course, she was doing a lot of windows not that long ago. And um, I want to do some things with windows. But i got to go back and look at all the videos because they were such good ideas. But... You know, you watch, well, I don't know about you, but I watch so many videos, I cannot keep them all in mind. I mean, there were things that she did on her 100-day project and things she did in her 3 in 30 minutes projects that I thought were just so awesome. Oh, and then her Christmas gifts series that she did in November. Love the zipper pouches. Meant to go back and watch that and pull out my zippers and my canvas and stuff like that and make some for my granddaughters. Didn't get to it. Haven't gotten to it. I have the two journals to finish. Haven't finished those. <laughs> and now I have some orders for the ephemera folios. Oh, look, you can see the threads now. See the copper threads right here? Still recording. I'm mostly in your sight, right? Oh, this is sticking to my mat. Oh, that's because I taped it down. Duh. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what I did was I taped. No. Oh. Sorry for the fat arms being in the camera. So yeah, if I sound sniffly and I don't, I sound like I have a stuffy nose. I do. So yeah, this book is so huge, like it's heavy. And the back half of it is just the index. Like I'd say at least half of the pages are index. Well, maybe not half. Maybe, I don't know, probably not 50%, but maybe 45% of the pages. I can't tell where the paper stops. So, okay. And now the next door neighbor's dog is barking. They have a dog that almost looks like the dog um, Toto in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it's not a Norwich Terrier, but it looks very close to it. Like maybe it's a mix of one. It's cute. But I think it gets out when they open the door and they just leave it... <laughs> You're not supposed to leave your dogs out around here. And I think it gets frustrated and it barks to want back in. But the older people can't hear it because, for one, they can't hear very well. And for two, they are upstairs. And the dog goes around the back of the house to the downstairs where the, the younger couple lives. Nope. Now our dogs are barking. Shouldn't be a delivery of anything. I haven't ordered anything, amazingly enough. Okay. All right. And there's still some bubbles in it. I'm trying to get most of the texture bubbles out. This does become quite transparent, though. 
This is fun. It's time consuming, but it's fun. I could see me doing a couple of these a day to build up. But, I mean, it would take hours to do several pages. And if you want to do a nice job. This is pretty. Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> but you do want to pounce it. That's what's getting the tissue paper into, like, it's becoming one with the paper underneath it. And that's what's going to glue. Let's see. These things do stick up. I, I can't remember. I'm going to have to go back and look. I think she said you could even put another piece of tissue over the top of it. But then I would think it would kind of maybe like, um, what am I trying to say? Make it hard to see the, the fun stuff in it. But we'll see. If this dries and it's too pokey or it doesn't work well, I may try putting another piece over at the top of it. Okay, let me get the wishy-washy off of there. There we go. And we'll move this one over too. Excuse me while I get up and try and aim this towards my... <laughs> I better get up and move this. I'll be right back, people. Talk amongst yourselves, as Gail says. Okay. Ow! That was my knee that popped. Okay. And the next piece I want to do, I was thinking, I should have cut these pieces bigger is what I was thinking. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Should have made the pieces bigger. At least wider. Okay, let's see what else I can find. Oh, I forgot I had this stuff over here to add in, too. I don't know if that's going to be too bulky or not. All right, so I have tracing paper, which I think is going to be way too thin. But I thought it'd be fun to experiment with it. I'm going to give it a shot. I wonder if it's too fine. Um, let's play. That's what we're here for, right? Okay, so we're at 37 minutes. Okay. I'll roll up the sleeves. All right, so again, it's <laughs> not really wide enough. <laughs> Can we use this piece? That's wider. Okay, we'll, we'll use this one, and it's not curling, so I don't have to really tape it down. Although... I don't know what the tracing paper is going to do when I start gluing it. Okay, let's let's tape this edge down over here. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna. I think I'm gonna glue half of it. This is gonna be interesting because it's so thin. And I know Natasha said go heavier. <laughs> Like I said, I'm a rebel, right? Oops. It's no fun following the rules. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. Boy, everything's curling now. Okay. A little more tea. Okay. And I'm going to try some of this. I have some burlap pieces. I'm going to cut them. And it helps if you get it on the actual paper. <laughs> on the parchment paper isn't going to do me a lot of good, I don't think. Okay. On the paper. And then I think I'll do some of these. I don't know if I want black in there. I don't think I do. Take some of these threads. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. So I made a, a dream catcher yesterday for a friend. It's, it's something that I really enjoy doing, making dream catchers. And it was fun to do that as kind of a change. 
and I sort of felt like I needed to lay low anyway with this cold coming on. And then as soon as I was done making it, I ended up falling asleep taking a nap. <laughs> and that's not something I normally... I mean, I've been known to nap before. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, when I have this much to do... This is um, flower sack cloth that I tea dyed. And I absolutely love it as a background. And I do sell this... Come on, get off my finger. I do sell strips of this in my shop. Um, however, <laughs> right now things are really low in my shop. So if you go there and it's not there, wait until after the holiday. <laughs> because I am so behind. And I got to get these two journals done. And now I have orders for three ephemera folios. And if you want an ephemera folio, I do take orders, but I can't guarantee when they're going to be done. Um, so, yeah. And I just sent one to Gail Augustinelli. And she um, showed it on her page. And that's every time she does that for me, I do get orders. <laughs> and I appreciate it so much. Um, she is such a gem. But... I am so far behind at this moment that I'm feeling very overwhelmed, which is why I'm doing something that is not really supposed to be being done right now. <laughs> why not? Why not do something that, you know, is totally not what you're supposed to be doing? It's called avoidance. <laughs> avoidance of, you know, you're supposed to, you have orders to fill and you really should be filling them. Yep, I know. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm I get overwhelmed and I can't de make decisions and I don't want to finish and it's hard and will they like it and 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 yeah. So make paper. Let's make some paper. Okay. This is Going better than I thought it would. I mean, the, the tracing paper hasn't disintegrated. <laughs> the glue is not staying very wet, but it hasn't disintegrated. All right, what, what else was I going to put on? Um, I have some of those threads on there, so I should put some on this side. Not that you have to. You don't have to do both halves of the paper the same. But it's fun. Oops, get on the paper, please. Thank you. All right, you over there. And some more of this. I can't seem to, this does not want to fray for me. Fray for me. Or to pray for me? I want it to fray for me. So, yeah, so anyway, we'll see how it goes. Every day I get up feeling a little different. Today I feel worse than I did yesterday. Maybe that means that tomorrow I get up and feel better. I don't know. So, we shall see. So I'm trying to talk my husband into retiring, which would be a couple of years early for him. But he doesn't think it's such a good idea. And honestly, there's a part of me that thinks it's a really bad idea. <laughs> but I keep telling him, if he would help me with stuff for my business, we wouldn't make anywhere near what he makes. But, um, you know, it would be fun. And you can't beat having fun, right? You're supposed to have fun in your life. Plus, we could travel a little more. Yep. I like it. Okay. Do I need more on there? I feel like I need some. Just just teensy bit more. Not that it's going to stick, because nothing at this point is sticking. 
But that's what the napkin on top is for, right? I hope I have one big enough to fit this. Whoa, baby. Okay. All right. I feel like that's busy enough. Maybe some coppery thread. I really like the coppery thread. And it does end up showing through. As fine as this thread is, as, as tiny, stay, darn it. As fine and thin as this thread is, it's amazing that it stays. Oop, that you can see it. I think the dogs were just barking because they're not in here with me, so they're not sleeping. I'll tell you, when they lay down next to me, they just pass out. Tony was laughing last night at it. The minute I sit on the couch and just start to relax and watch TV with him at night, they just zonk right out. Or if I'm in this room, they zonk right out. Is this big enough? Is it? Is it? It is. Yay. Okay. And I hope doing this with the school glue is the right idea. Did you guys watch... Do you watch Nick the Booksmith? She did a video the other day where she put Mod Podge down on a nonstick mat and then she put things in it like this. She put papers and she and then she put another layer of Mod Podge on top of that. And then another layer on top of that. I thought that was so cool. I detest Mod Podge. I will tell you that right now. But I have a whole slew of it. <laughs> I, have, I have a whole, you know, those big plastic bins. Not big plastic bins, but the drawer units, the plastic drawer units with the deep plastic drawers in it. it usually comes in threes. I have a drawer full of Mod Podge, all different kinds. And they make an opalescent, I think, now. Oh, maybe that wasn't Mod Podge I was looking at. That was another... Another gel medium that I almost picked up but didn't. Anyway, she said you could do it with other gel mediums, but she wasn't sure how flexible it would be. It might be really stiff, and the one she made was really flexible. I thought that was so interesting. And I know she does not watch me. The woman does not have the time to watch me. She's busy being creative. <laughs> And I, I'm nothing special to watch. I just, I gather other people's ideas and kind of do my own thing with it. And I have no idea where my tracing paper ends. I guess where the, the bits of things on it end. So, yeah, so she did a really cool thing that, you know, now I'm going to have to try that. I don't know what I would use it in, though, except maybe a cover. Because even though it's very flexible, it's still pretty thick. And I, I don't think I would use it for like um, like a window, like cutting out a card and putting, you know, like you do with um, vellum or acetate from packaging or whatever. I, I don't think I would be able to do that with it. But I thought it was interesting. I love the creative process of doing that. Like, I always thought I'd want to make my own handmade paper, but the whole thing where you have to have the screens and the tubs under the screens because of all the water and squeeze all the water out with all the towels and, oh my gosh, it just seems like a lot of work. <laughs> just like marbling. Like, she has a marbling class, and I know you can learn marbling online very easily, but I want to learn to marble but I've heard that it's it's just a lot of work. And you have to be able to... Like, we have a utility sink in our basement. So it's great when I was doing fabric dyeing. Not fabric dyeing. Wool dyeing. Like, I would get bulk wool and dye it. Um, I'm not into that anymore. But when I was doing it, Having that sink downstairs was awesome. The tea dyeing. When my husband tea dyes or I tea dye, if I'm not doing it outside in the summer, we're doing it downstairs because you have the sink there. 
we have six foot tables set up there and getting the bubbles out being a little more aggressive this time you really need a bigger brush for this part I think if you had a wider brush not too soft on the bristles I think it would be really good for this part of it can you see the copper threads showing through awesome blossom they show through better than some of the other stuff actually and I think copper is such a pretty color it goes with vintage and it goes with other stuff it goes with anything copper is like a neutral so where am I oh 50 minutes so there's gonna be a part two where I show you how these came out um, I have a couple more sheets of paper over here which I will do off camera and then there will be a part two I don't know that there will be a part three I hope not because <laughs> you know two parts is plenty for this but um, I will I will finish this up and I appreciate it if you stuck it through to the end and um, I will be back I will probably not be back before Christmas which is in two days but I will probably be back between Christmas and New Year so if I don't see ya I hope you have a very Merry Christmas a happy Hanukkah and whatever else is happening around this time of the year and I hope that you have a wonderful and safe holiday if you're traveling please be very careful here in Virginia yesterday it was all over the news all over the country because I follow a news channel in Rochester New York because that's where I'm from and I follow uh, I have a friend in California who said she saw it on the news but over in Williamsburg Virginia on I-64 they had to shut it down there was a uh, 35 injuries and uh, many, many cars piled up. Cars and trucks just piled up because the bridge was icy and it was foggy and people couldn't see and it was not a pretty sight. Where's the one I already ripped off of this one? Now this is, before I say goodbye, this is something that she did was, I'm going to, this is, this is a pretty big lump right there, but I'm just going to try to cover it with a little more napkin and see what happens. If I have to pull that out and then cover it with napkin after it dries, and that's lumpy too. We'll see what happens. If I have to pull it out and make a hole and cover it with a napkin and re-glue it, that's okay. It's okay. This is an experiment. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So like I said, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, uh, Happy New Year. Be safe. Bless you all for being here and all the wonderful comments and all my new subscribers and old that have stuck through thick and thin with me. Um, let's hope Kappa, when they come to town on uh, January 10th, I think it's supposed to be, they don't wipe anybody out that we love on YouTube um, and y'all hang in there have a great crafty day week month year love you guys thank you thank you thank you thank you for being here I really appreciate it and I'll be back to show you how these turn out and I'll do a few more so we can uh, unveil them in the next video love you guys take care bye bye